a short demonstration of the COG scales turning it on with in this instance a customized uh, message starting up counting down for the calibration period and tells that 7.7 .7 volts still left in the 9 voltage battery and 0 gram on the scales cutting off the backlight very very swiftly in order to save power in the battery featuring four pads to ca each uh, calculating the pressure on them with the stops for the front of the wing when I put the plane down onto the pads the scales will wake up and start measuring the weight of the plane as well at the center of gravity now for the next one let's uh, open up and put some ballast in and see what happens okay so I put in some quite a fairly bit of uh, ballast a, a little uh, about 80 grams and you see that my COG moved back actually almost two millimeters which is definitely not what you want when you go flying for windy conditions so the rod uh, for my DLG ballast is clearly too long and uh, I will uh, then have to have to remove the ballast and shorten down the rod carefully okay so we then need to shorten this one down okay so let's see what happens now we and now we're at uh, 65.3 65.1 was what, what we had earlier so fairly happy with the change and that would be a very good COG for windy conditions you may wonder why the COG uh, scales has a long separate wire and why the display isn't integrated there ah that's because it's not at all limited to DLGs but uh, you can do full-scale uh, F3 or 5J planes, etc. This is a 3.8 meter Explorer that we're putting on here. And uh, let's see if I get it to fit. And uh, I wouldn't be able to see this under the wing otherwise, but it tells me that the plane weighs about 1.3 kilo and 126 millimeter COG, which for me is a really good a little bit forward so very nice in a good moment it's just below 1300 grams me is happy so quite ideal then for checking out ballast I have here uh, made some very simple ballast from uh, copper heating tube filled them with uh, uh, lead bullets for my from my moose gun I moved over to copper bullets and so no, no longer shooting with lead for environmental and health reasons and as soon as I finished um, putting in my my ballast I'm able to see that yes on that hole it's 125 millimeters a little bit more forward when I have ballast let me just go back and check where I have the hole etc you get the idea it's uh, so easy then to I, I took off the cabin there for a second it's so easy to do what if and when you ballast the plane etc